hi guys welcome back to my channel here is a makeup tutorial slash hair tutorial it's not very detailed but if you look through what i'm doing you're going to learn something <laughs> don't get surprised that i'm styling my client's hair i mean it's not the first time from my previous videos up here you're going to see a more detailed hair makeup hair tutorial sorry I was done with her hair so I went straight to her face started cleaning in all that you do please clean your clients face after cleaning I went straight with my setting Kali Rosota Mario Badescu sprayed on her face allowed it to dry and then went in with moisturizer i used two moisturizers and trust me guys if you start blending with your hands more like you're massaging the face and allowing the products to go into the skin it's it's lovely and that was what i tried doing like allowing everything to just get right into her skin and dry up there I moisturized her lips because it's also important and then I went in with a foundation of a shade I like to go in with a brush before blending because it helps me apply less foundation and you know just help me spread the foundation all through her face after which i sprayed just to give it that dewy look spray for your foundation to be able to spread round very well and not have this cakey matte look i was going for a dewy look and then i started blending mind you your beauty blender is meant to be damp not wet like entirely wet but damp next you blend blending very well and after which i went in with a concealer blend 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 i think in almost all of my makeup tutorials i always see and talk about blending blend and blend till you have no harsh lines If you've been observing you'll notice that the foundation on her face is a little bit lighter but this is where you correct your errors yes I also make mistakes and I try to correct it if you notice the powder I'm applying on her face is a shade darker than the foundation on her face 
this is just me trying to correct whatever mistakes i might have made in the course of me applying her foundation and concealer and trust me trust the process guys it came out pretty well i went in with her powder instead of um a certain powder first so i tried to contour and set every other place before baking with the setting powder this is where the whole sculpting sets in the contour of her nose i was obviously trying to define and get a pretty long nose just trying to bring definition to it you don't need to do much i wasn't doing much remember always have it at the back of your mind that you need to blend blend and blend even if you're applying much just blend it out and everything will be fine and that was what i was doing this is me contouring and after which i'm going to bake her nose to give it that pointed look i mean you have to get it right and have a snatched looking nose <laughs> don't make the mistake of applying too many setting powder on the other eye and allowing it to stay there for long because it has a way of staying like even when you're trying to brush it off it's just there and it's so annoying like the demarcations and all is just too much so if you noticed i didn't do so much on the on the eyes immediately i was applying the setting powder i was also trying to blend it out and for good next i'm um, onto her eyebrow i brushed and applied um an edge control yeah to help keep her brows in place even after a very long day that way you also get a skin like finished kind of brows and after applying the edge control don't forget to set so that you don't have an oily eyebrow after setting then you can begin to draw carefully this is something you don't want to rush because i believe the eyebrow is what gives a better and a sweet definition to your makeup look so take your time guys tada i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry i lost some clips i don't know how they disappeared i i lost some clips and i'm so sorry guys i promise you i'm going to have a better video where i show how i was able to achieve this kind of look or something close to it the eyeshadows I'm so sorry guys please please bear with me so to continue from where I stopped this is me trying to fix her false lashes properly and press them so through. next thing I went in to her lips because I moisturized even my matte lip stain won't dry up immediately there's room for me to blend and all of this so if you are wondering oh why do i need to moisturize the lips you have your answers now and secondly to avoid a breaky breaking lips your makeup will just not be fine your lips won't be fine so blend 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 i mean look at the skin it is given Disco 
some fun like one of a kind girl till morning's here so for final touch-ups i sprayed i touched the face for some places i felt like the products are not suited well i just touched touch 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 little things paparazzi and all so that's that for that I hope you enjoyed this video even though it's not as detailed as you would want I would want I hope you did get one or two things I'll see you guys in my next video bye